Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to download and install new fonts on a MacBook or any Mac running macOS. Once you've installed the new font, it should appear within your apps, such as Word, Excel or Photoshop, to use it on. If it doesn't appear after you've installed it, then I would recommend restarting your device and it should work properly after that. Remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into the method. We first need to get a font to install. If you already have yours, then feel free to skip ahead a little. There are plenty of places on the internet to download fonts from. I'll put a few sites in the description of the video. One important thing to mention though is that you need to check whether or not you are allowed to use the font. There should be some license information and this might affect where and how you can use the font. For example, some might be free for personal use but not commercial use and you may be required to give credit in some cases. If you find one to use for free, you might be able to donate to the author to support them. Download the font you want to install and we can move on to the method to get it set up on our device. Once the font has downloaded, find where it is stored on your device. This will likely be the downloads folder. It will probably be a zip file and if this is the case, you need to double click on it to extract the contents. This should reveal the file inside and this file will be a font file type, such as OpenType. To install it, double click on the font file. If it is within a folder, then double click on the file within the folder. This should bring up a preview window showing the font. At the bottom right of this window, it should say install font, so click on that. Allow it to install and once it has, it should show the new font within the fonts folder on your device. You can search for the fonts folder if you want to get to it in the future. It should now be fully installed and ready to use, but as I mentioned at the start, if for some reason it isn't showing on your applications, try restarting your device to see if that helps. And so that is how to download and install new fonts on a MacBook or any Mac running macOS. Help support the channel by visiting the store, the link is in the description and at the end of this video. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. And if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.